To convert text into applique, click on the text tool to write out the word you wish to embroider using the applique technique. Then, select an applique specific font. Choosing one of these fonts will automatically outline your text with a satin stitch. Next, we will create a tack down stitch. A tack down stitch is a stitch that connects the applique fabric to your garment. To create your tack down stitch, Duplicate your design by right-clicking and selecting Duplicate. You can also choose to copy and paste. The duplicated design will then appear automatically on top of the original one. Next, right-click and choose Break Up Text to convert your text into an object. This will convert each letter of your text into its own object. This will appear in your sequence pane to the right. Open your sequence pane to make sure that the letters are in the correct sequence. Next, convert your duplicated object into a run stitch. A run stitch is a basic stitch used for tacking down fabric to other fabric. You will want your run stitch to embroider before your statin stitch. This is because you will need your run stitch to tack down your fabric to the other fabric to keep it in place so it doesn't shift when the satin stitch is applied. To ensure this happens, Look at your sequence pane and make sure that the run function is located above the satin function. To verify that your design will embroider in the correct sequence, select your slow redraw tool above. To create an applique design using shapes, you can use a similar process. Draw a shape using your shape tool on the left. Right-click and transform your shape into a run stitch. Right-click and duplicate your design. The duplicated design will then appear automatically on top of the original one. Right-click and convert your new shape into a satin stitch and click Apply on the right. Lastly, you will want your run stitch to embroider before your satin stitch. Confirm this by looking at your sequence pane on the right. The run stitch should be above the satin stitch. You can also confirm by selecting your slow redraw tool above.